<laughs> well, Adam, how are you? How is the form? Hey, the last, the last time we were there, they had just allowed you on there six thirty. Now they allow you to come by. Hey, you show, it shows that they're getting desperate, doesn't it? <laughs> Here, how's things going in general? These are, these uh, are very active. We see in social media all the time. It's just bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. Does it feel like that? Not really. Uh, it's just a really a matter of getting the work done. Oh, the weller is the hardest part of it, really. If it was really nice and dry all the time, it's, you take it as your stride. But weller being weller over here, it's kind of fight against the rain all the time. How's your sighting season? 2020 is going to be a year remembered Aye. for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> From being probably what the driest May nearly in record to being nearly the wettest June in record, it's uh, hey, there's no happy medium, is there? Uh, okay, we're getting through it. It's hard at the minute there now. Uh, it's been back from the dry time being big loads, uh, going anywhere you want, the wee loads and picking your spot really. But oh, we're getting through it. Hey, uh, machinery feels the strain a lot more in the wet weather. Um, from first cut high, everything was at their ease. Um, second cut now, they're under a lot more pressure. Pressure in the machinery and pressure in us. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would be at it, wouldn't they? This is very different. We have never seen this side to what you guys do as a combine. And what are you cutting today? What crop are you in, Adam? Me, oh, Winter Barney. You're rolling away there with two combines. What what exactly are you running? And do you really need two combines, or is that a bigger part of your business than I maybe understood before? Do we need two combines? Hey, it's like this. If it was dry and we had, good, we had a good weather pattern, no. Uh, we could do it with one, no problem whatsoever. And once again, it's the weather determined we're trying to do a week's work in two days nearly. Acres-wise, we wouldn't be in the biggest arable part of the world, you know. Uh, we would be a lot more grassland managing. They're such a small wonder, so for the two combines being there, it's just trying to get as much harvested in a short period of time as possible. What combines do you run? Because, you know, you're very much crone when it comes to your harvesting, um, forage harvesting, running both crone machines, but I do believe we have uh, Class and New Holland. Uh, well, we ran crone, but they decided they weren't going to start building combines, so... <laughs> <laughs> No. Or wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, uh, oh, hey, we had bought this New Holland combine, was it uh, four years ago? A oh, great combine. Never a bit of bother. Uh, Kennedy's look after the best. Not that she gives much problems in the first place. The biggest impact was weather permitting, we had to go for wheel drive. Um, a lot of steep ground, wet, sticky places. So. Um, we bought this new home with four-wheel drive to, to kind of adapt to that and uh, oh hey, she, she stood out on her own. She went places where you never would have thought of, you know, so in that sense, whatever combine we were going to go for after that had to be four-wheel drive as well. Um, um, what is it, Adam? It's the, she's the class Lexi in 670, she's four-wheel drive and um, 900 tires on her with a 22 foot head. And are they both five straw walker machines? I think the class is. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, six. The Romy six and you all know six on it now. Yeah. Oh, a great thresh on her. The class would probably dominate her there in the forward speed, but equally, the new all still very pleased with her. You know, it's uh, she'd be an older machine, but she, she can still thresh very, very well now. You're still getting away there at a nice speed there. As hard as you want to go if it's lying, it's, it's a slow process. Yeah, well, ultimately, the biggest challenge you face, uh, faced there was uh, the decision to go to a four-wheel drive machine. <laughs> Aye. Aye, well... Next, well. It'll, next it'll be a track machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know us. Uh, never say never, as I would say. <laughs> no, 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 never say never when it comes to you, boys, because every time I've chatted to you, there's a lot of nevers have came through. <laughs> Looking back to, to, to the last time we were with you, you were 
you were very much staying in control of uh, the digester. Remember, we were down and we interviewed you there. And is that still the case? Is the digester still in the in the go? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the digester's still well on the way there. She's doing very well. She's flat out making power. So uh, I fed her this morning. Just with a bit of weather there, we were all pearly and cows milked and uh, the digester had her fed and everything read up, kind of. See, the thing about the combine, you, you really you really can't get away early in the morning with grass if you've raked up the night before or whatever. Um, you can get away sharp, but with the barley, it's kind of a matter of the dew lifting and waiting for the percentage. They come down on the the barley or the grain, for say, they get out at it, you know, but uh, by the time you grease your machine and uh, Greaser and diesel, or you're chatting 10 o'clock there, and if the, if the morning's right, you go out and get at it. Everything else at the yard's pretty much read up. Well, I'm assuming Chrissy's not out going with the Mark II Big M anymore. No, 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 no. I'd say if you tell Chrissy to jump in the Mark II, he would, he would look at you funny. <laughs> no, he's in, his, uh, he's in his prime here at 450 now. No, I could tell you, Chrissy can smile rightly too. I he's uh, he's like a new man. They tell me since he got the 450. He's a lot easier to work with. I can tell you that, don't I? If it's a 450 <laughs> done that, I don't know, but he's definitely he's definitely now a lot easier to talk to at the moment. <laughs> You're a very busy man, both with family life and with farming life, and I suppose that applies to the rest of the crew as well. I oh there is I hey the exact where everyone is is the same hey it's a love for it isn't it? Well sure that's what it's all about. Well then who's chopping today? On the harvester today is Foy. Foy's actually out chopping today. He's in Artie Garvin at the moment. They're out lifting whole crop out there today. Me and Robbie's here and Chrissy's mowing and Johnny's and Craig and all they're all out in the slurry. Slurry's an odd thing you uh, the grass, the weller, the good weller, but actually the ground's being so wet we actually had to wait for the better spell weller even to get the slurry out after guys that we caught maybe two weeks ago. And that's one of the other big parts of your life is, is the slurry inside of things. Like yeah. it's, it's just it's a, it's a massive aspect of your business as is the, as is the grass chop and, and then as they look now, you're, up, you're in, you talk about the horrible side of things. The big part of that, I suppose, that was really just getting commissioned at the time we, we our last DVD was out and nearly two years you must be in that parlour now. A year and a bit, it's coming up to two years, I uh, two years this October, yeah, yeah. Is it as good as it looked back then and I mean is there any you know, is it real is it the answer? Oh it was Oh it was high it was probably the best decision we ever made. Malkin before you were like I'll stay out and keep working <laughs> just to keep it though just cause if partner, you're maybe you're at it for four or five hours a night, and you were uh, not that you, we all like milking cows is a big part of us. But I tell you, at us, hey, it was oh, uh, you're nearly under ten hours a day. It was a long day. But no, no, hey, it's you're drying off like mad, and okay, hey, even at that, you, you're the cows is flying through, or the cows is doing very well. It was truly a massive step up for you guys. It, yeah, it was a, it was more than a jump, it was a leap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was just a matter of staying up wherever we jumped on, day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, hey, uh, I, we need to nearly be as busy in the winter time as we do in the summer. They, they, they keep the men, to keep ourselves. You need work for 12 months of the year, you know, to keep everybody in work and keep busy, you know, that kind of way. So, to increase the herd, we needed to facilitate it with a big parlour. It worked out well, the parlour was great, hey. It was a great investment we made now. Definitely, it's a pleasure, Malkin. Well, look, Adam, thank you very much. And look, we'll hopefully, hopefully get out to see you before too long and we'll be able to, as a, we'll be able to have a bit of crack, but we're trying to do the thing as, as close to right as we can, so we don't want any, you know, we've all to do our bit to beat this whole COVID-19, so. All the best, Adam. Thank 100%, you, sir. 100%, Garth. Thanks, sir. I do. Bye -bye. Cheers, boss. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.